Hey, seventh grade. This is your language lesson 11. It is due on Monday, April, 20, uh, April 27th. Monday, April 27th. Your language 11 lesson is due. If you have already done the first part, good. If not, you do not have to figure out exactly what those people in those states are called. I will give you that we will go over the answers just for the fun of it on Monday. So this is basically a review lesson. Do it carefully. The spelling. Let's talk about the spelling. In fact, I will give you the answers. So please make sure you're watching this video. Get these answers down so that you can do the rest of the spelling with some kind of uh, clarity. Some of these abbreviations are a little hard to understand, so we will talk about them. So look at your spelling, page 36, lesson 11, abbreviations. A branch of the United States justice system that investigates violations of federal laws. Federal means laws within the United States. Now your state police, your local and state police, do not cross state lines, all right? So there is, there, there, before the F, this is FBI, by the way, Federal Bureau of Investigation, before the FBI was established, evidence and chain of command and things like that, if, if a criminal crossed the state line, if Pennsylvania was investigating a crime and the criminal moved into Maryland, then the Pennsylvania investigation had to stop. They could share information with the Maryland people, uh, but it got, yeah, things got confused and lost because one organization had to stop and another had to take over. The FBI is a crime-fighting branch. Uh, they're basically police that can cross state lines. Okay, so if <clears throat> if a crime moves from one state to the next, the FBI can follow it all the way through. Okay? It depends what kind of crime it is. Uh, they will move in. They will help uh, the state police. And then if it moves into another state, they can continue going where the state police cannot. Number 31. In 1945, after World War II, World War II kind of sparked a lot of these organizations, well, a number of these organizations anyway. It was such a huge and devastating war that people were like, we need, we need to do something. We need to set something up to, you know, keep world peace, to basically police the world. And so the UN was set up, the United Nations works to maintain world peace and security. Uh, United Nations has police or soldiers from many different countries uh, that work together that will move into an area uh, of unrest and turmoil. Uh, they can give, they give aid. They work at maintaining world peace. If you have a dictator, an especially cruel dictator that's killing a bunch of people, and things like that, they will investigate him, maybe arrest him, put him on trial on the world court. That is the United Nations, number 31. Number 32, again after World War II, this was an alliance of Western countries formed against communism. Now the interesting thing, of course, if you remember our discussions on communism in World War II, Russia, who was the main communist threat, was friends with, was allies with the United States and Europe against Germany. So they were the good guys in World War II, but right after World War II, they became the bad guys. Well, they were bad guys all along. Okay, Joseph Stalin, their leader in World War II, was, was a terrible guy. He probably killed as many people as, as Hitler did. Uh, so right after World War II, the main threat was the spread of communism. So NATO was set up, N-A-T-O was set up, to slow down the spread of communism. 33, 
UK or the United Kingdom is the official name of the country that we call Great Britain or England uh, or things like that. The United Kingdom is made up of Northern Ireland, England, Scotland, Wales. Uh, it's also called Great Britain. I think uh, technically Great Britain the United Kingdom includes the Northern Ireland. I think when you say Great Britain, technically Northern Ireland is not uh, part of that. So the UK, the United Kingdom, is what we know as England. 34, the United States government agency that collects military, economic, and political information about foreign governments and other groups. This is the CIA, Central Intelligence Agency. These people are spies, okay? We have spies in most countries, uh, and these are people that are working undercover secretly, just to, especially in countries that are threatening uh, countries where countries like North Korea and some of those Middle Eastern countries, Iran and all those, just to their unstable governments, their radical governments. And so we have spies in there trying to figure out what their next moves are, then you report back to the United States, all right? It's a dangerous work. If you're caught as a spy in uh, some of those countries, you will be executed and things like that. That is the CIA. The FBI are policemen that go all over the country, but they're in the United States. The FBI doesn't operate outside of the United States. The CIA operates outside the United States in foreign countries and reports back to the United States government. They're, they're spies. FBI, policemen, CIA, spies. 35, group of people organized for a common purpose, association, ASSN. 36, the number of times in a minute that something turns around the center or axis, RPMs. Rotations per minute. So your RPMs on your tractor, your RPMs, your P, your PTO, things like that, is your rotations per minute. On a letter or something, you may put ATTN attention so and so, like if it's going to a business and you want so and so to see it. Uh, you put the ATTN on it. Incorporation INC is number 38. It's often used after a company's name. 39 LTD. Often used with British or Canadian companies indicating the restriction of legal responsibilities. So you put that on and say if anything legal comes up, we are not responsible. LTD. That's 39. 40 EG. For example, and I've wondered already where some of these come from, and I see that uh, RSVP, I always wondered why that, how does that mean reply? But it's, yeah, there's Latin, Latin in a lot of these, uh, these words are Latin. The AD is Latin. Uh, 40 is EG, for instance, or to illustrate. 41 BC, before Christ. 42. A.D. or Anno Domini, which means in Latin, the year of our Lord. 43, etc. So forth and others and the rest, etc. I think we understand that one kind of. I.E. That is, that is to say, I.E. R.S.V.P. number 45, please reply. A wide or main street, avenue, forty-seven. If you're against something, this versus this, sixth grade versus seventh grade in kickball, forty-eight. NASA is our National Air and Space Association, our space or flight, the United States agency that does in-flight research within and beyond the Earth's atmosphere. OPEC, number 49, is a group of countries that rely on oil experts as their main income. 
All right, OPEC. So they're the, the countries whose main source of income is shipping oil to the rest of the world. Okay, so you would have countries in the Middle East, Saudi Arabia, a bunch of those. Uh, their main source of income is the fact that they have vast quantities of crude oil that they supply the rest of the world with. That is OPEC. All right, make sure lesson 11, there you have the spelling. Do the rest of lesson 11 for Monday, please, seventh grade. And this begins the last week of language. Good day. I know you're sad to hear that language is almost over.